Here we go. Let's take a look and do our first, it's called a conversion, using the factor label method. In this case, it, we're after how many inches, so question mark inches, is there in 2.5 feet. And you might be like, well, uh, one foot is equal to, what, 12 inches, and so two of those would be 24 inches, and a half a foot is 6 inches, plus 6 inches, that gives me 30 inches. And you're right. But we need to be able to work that using the factor label method. So here we go. By the way, um, you notice that we came up with, just in our head, we came up with 2.5 feet is equal to 30 inches, just in our head. But notice that the answer here, how many sig figs are there in 30 inches? And then how many sig figs are there in 30 inches with a decimal? So we have one sig fig there and two sig figs there. And not so, or I say it's no small thing that the thing we're converting from has how many sig figs? Two sig figs. So let's go ahead and get to that 30 inches using the factor label method. First off, you need to kind of say, well, what is going to get me from um, what is going to get me from feet to inches? And so you come up with an equivalency statement. I know one foot is exactly equal to 12 inches. That's by definition in the English system. So there's no uncertainty um, in that 1 or that 12. It's by definition. So I'm going to use that equivalency statement and like I said in a previous part, we can take any equivalency statement and we can make um, two basically ratios out of those. Now let me show you how that goes. For instance, if we were to divide, divide both sides by one foot, okay, so we divide this side by one foot and we divide this side by one foot and what do you get? Well that one foot is actually what? One. So basically this ratio is one and what do we know if you take one times if you multiply anything by one you haven't changed the number. That's why it's called a unit factor. So we could go ahead and instead of dividing by one foot, we could divide both sides by 12 inches. And if we do that, what does 12 inches over 12 inches equal? It equals one. So this ratio is also equal to one. Okay, so we have two, we, we have from any equivalency statement, we actually have two options of using an equivalency statement, inserting it into a bunch of numbers multiplied out and getting not changing the number at all. Okay, so that's that's one of the first points. Now when we work problems, when we work conversion problems, I usually start with the thing we want to convert. And in this thing, in this case, the thing we want to convert is 2.5 feet. I usually put it over 1. Now my slides aren't going to, this over 1 is going to go away, but hopefully you're okay with 2.5 feet and 2.5 feet over 1 is the same thing. Now we're going to use either one of those ratios so that we want feet to cancel, okay, and we want to be left with units of inches. We want feet to cancel, be left with units of inches. So to me, I kind of write my, um, my ratio here and then I put in the numbers. What do you know about one foot? There's 12 inches in one foot. Okay, and you're done. Okay, so this way our feet cancel. Now notice that when I'm working chemistry problems and, and conversion problems, I worry most about the units. I don't worry about numbers until the end. Oops, yeah, so feet cancel, we're left with units of inches. That's perfect. Now we need to worry, not really worry, but we need to worry about what is multiplied together. So can you see where this is actually 2.5 in the top with regard to numbers? Units are done. We've just got inches. But with regard to numbers, we have 2.5, we have 12, and then we have 1. Okay? And then units are going to be inches. So our calculator, if you tap that into your calculator, your calculator is just going to just display 30 
but here's where you need to go back and say how many sig figs do I need to relay in my answer and there is uncertainty brought here so there's two sig figs there no uncertainty brought by the 12 no uncertainty brought by the 1 so we need to show two sig figs now we can show two sig figs if we go ahead and just put the decimal there just like you see here that's showing now two sig figs alternatively and there's there's students out there that like to go this route if you pack this up in scientific notation and show the two sig figs in the coefficient that works too so you could put 3.0 times 10 to the first inches also it's it's the same thing so notice I'm just going to kind of show you this is the ratio we used up here what if we were would use the other ratio what if we would use the one foot over 12 inches instead well can you see where now we guess the 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 feet don't cancel and we're left with if I had to say what these units are I know it sounds kind of strange but I would have feet squared these units would be feet squared per inch okay and and that's not what you're after obviously